Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Garth McCavana, Dean for Student Affairs in the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. For the past few years, I've begun the GSES Diploma Awarding Ceremony by welcoming the audience to Sanders Theatre. This year, I would like to thank you for joining us virtually from wherever in the world you are. Since we are unable to hand out diplomas in person this year, we are holding this graduation recognition ceremony to acknowledge the significant achievements you have accomplished in receiving the Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Engineering, and Doctor of Philosophy from the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences at Harvard University. We're very proud of all of our graduates, especially those in the May degree period who have faced such unique challenges. This is the first part of our celebration. We will gather in person when we are able to, and we will celebrate together. We don't know quite when that will be or what that will look like. So we're here today to mark this occasion in the best way possible. We extend a warm welcome to our graduates. We know that these talented scholars could not have made the long successful journey through their graduate programs without the support of their friends, family, and loved ones. We hope you, our graduates, are celebrating with or are making plans to mark this occasion with loved ones, colleagues, mentors, and friends. Know that we in the GSAS administration and faculty and staff in all our programs appreciate the guidance and unwavering support you gave to our graduates. I will serve as the MC of the ceremony today, and I'll also be calling the names of each of our participating graduates. Before we get to the individual recognition, I'd like to welcome a special group of students and recognize the 2020 GSAS Commencement Marshals. These 10 individuals were nominated by students, faculty and staff members and selected by the GSAS Student Council for their service on behalf of the graduate student community. Please welcome the 2020 Commencement Marshals. Representing master's students, Amy Jean Grantham, Regional Studies East Asia, Ivana Yana Kuz, Regional Studies Russia, Eastern Europe, and Central Asia. Representing the Doctor of Philosophy, Roderick Kowati Defo, Physics, Blythe Caitlin George, Sociology, Eliza J. Gettle, Classics, Sakira Tiara Jolin Hudson, Psychology, Blakely Basi O'Connor, Engineering Sciences, David Romney, Government, Ivan Jacinto Santiago, Medical Sciences, Thomas Patrick Wisniewski, Comparative Literature. As part of this graduation recognition ceremony, one of the marshals will be providing a few remarks. I've had the pleasure to know this graduate in her work as a co-president of the GSAS Student Parents Organization and in several roles with the GSAS Student Council, including president. Please welcome Blakely Bussey O'Connor, PhD recipient in Engineering Sciences. I have dreamt of this day many times over. I've imagined myself in crimson robes, swelling with pride as we gather with our loved ones, exchanging hugs and handshakes and high fives in Harvard Yard. Missing out on this opportunity to celebrate in person, at least for now, has meant heartbreak for many of us, myself included. In processing these emotions, I was reminded of a verse from the Bhagavad Gita that carried me through many uncertain times throughout my graduate studies. You have the right to perform your prescribed duties, but you are not entitled to the fruits of your actions. Never consider yourself to be the cause of the results of your activities, nor be attached to inaction. Other than the current situation, there are a few pursuits that are more uncertain than pursuing a graduate degree. By nature, it is a quest to understand the unknown, to do what has yet to be done. We didn't know if the experiments we ran would work or if the words that we wrote would ring true to the audience on the other side of the page. The outcome wasn't always clear, nor was it certain, but day after day, we did the work because it was the right thing to do. And this is, in and of itself, the reward. You should be very proud of these accomplishments. But we can't forget the second part of this verse. Never consider yourself to be the sole cause of the results of your activities. 
We are a part of an interconnected society, reliant upon one another with our interconnected actions and reactions. And sometimes the universe has a say. Today, we are thankful for the people who worked before us and alongside us, including our mentors and colleagues, our friends and families. We acknowledge the influence you have had and the sacrifices that you've made to help pave the way for this opportunity that we often call our own. In a time when we're called to sacrifice both our personal comforts and the pursuit of work as we know it, it is critical that we remember the last part of this verse. Don't be attached to inaction. Even in uncertainty, even without promise or guarantee, now more than ever, it is important that we reflect and follow our callings. We do the work that is set before us and we pursue it to the best of our abilities. Thank you all for listening and congratulations. Thank you, Blakely, for all you have done to engage graduate students and for your inspiring words today. Please now join me in welcoming Professor Emma Dench. Professor Dench is the Dean of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences and the Maclean Professor of Ancient and Modern History and of the Classics. Thank you, Garth. Congratulations, GSAS graduates. A little while ago in the first part of our ceremony, I welcomed you to the ancient and universal company of scholars. I want to pause on the ritual formality of those words and make sure that you and your families and friends take a moment, and if you like, raise a glass or teacup to the astonishing mission most impossible that you have performed. Even in normal circumstances, remember those? Succeeding in graduate work is mission pretty impossible. Mission pretty impossible starts not just with knowing absolutely everything, but proving that you know absolutely everything backwards and upside down, and no matter how skeptical the expression on your oral examiner's faces, it then abruptly becomes both unknown and unknowable. You just have to make a significant, preferably wholly original, finding in your thesis or dissertation. And you have to do all this in the middle of whatever else life is throwing at you. It's very easy to doubt yourself in the process, to start thinking your whole project is a disaster, that you are a disaster. As a Roman history graduate student in Oxford, I remember days, nights, weeks, months, years of roadblocks, frustrations, failures, that soul-destroying boredom when you have so much to do, not a clue how to do it, and no internet to distract you. I remember several helpful suggestions of how I should actually be doing a completely different project, starting from scratch. I remember fielding countless versions of the why don't you just, isn't it just, weren't they just questions after giving papers at 7.30 a.m. conference breakfasts, in the elevator when going for interviews. That was pretty hard but it was nothing compared with what you have done, finishing in the middle of a global pandemic, which blows the unknown and unknowable up until it's the only reality we all know and shakes every expectation and certainty we have. But I have to say that in the middle of a global pandemic, I want to be surrounded by GSAS graduates like you. GSAS graduates who are unfazed by the unknown and unknowable, undeterred by roadblocks, frustrations, failures, never content with the quick, easy answers that turn out to be completely wrong 
comfortable with complexity and ambiguity and willing and able to share that complexity and ambiguity with disarming clarity. GSAS graduates, we celebrate you on the completion, completion of your mission, Most Impossible. And we celebrate all the equally heroic people who got you through, who knew you could do it, and who indulged your escape fantasies when you were sure you could not. Your partners, spouses, parents, grandparents, friends, allies, advisors, advocates and your children. I am so glad that so many of them are able to join us at this time. We celebrate you now from our basements, attics, kitchens, offices, living rooms and bedrooms and we will celebrate you again before too long in person, in pomp and circumstance. Congratulations again, GSAS graduates. We are so proud of you and so grateful for your wisdom. Before I close, I would like to take a moment to share the accomplishments of four of our distinguished alumni, our 2020 Centennial Medalists, who were once where you are at the very beginning of their careers. The Centennial Medal is the highest honour that the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences bestows on its alumni. It has been awarded every year since 1989, when it was established in honour of GSAS's 100th anniversary. Our first medalist is Stephen Arthur Cook, who received his PhD in mathematics in 1966. Professor Cook is the Distinguished Professor of Computer Science at the University of Toronto and he has dedicated his career to investigating the complexity of computation. We awarded him the Centennial Medal for his fundamental work on the theory of NP-completeness, which has shaped the course of research and teaching in theoretical computer science, and for his ongoing exploration of the questions arising from this theory, which are among the most important in computer science and mathematics today. Albert Fishlow, a 1963 PhD graduate in economics, is Professor of Economics Emeritus at University of California, Berkeley, whose research addresses issues in economic history, Latin American development strategies, and economic relations between industrialized and developing countries. Professor Fishlow received the Centennial Medal because of his intellectual leadership in the field of Brazilian economics, his strengthening of Latin American institutions and in international partnerships, and his magnificent mentorship to generations of scholars and world leaders. Physicist Margaret Kyvelson, PhD 57, a distinguished professor of space physics emerita at UCLA, has studied extensively the magnetospheres of Earth, Jupiter and Saturn. We bestow the Centennial Medal on Professor Kyvelson for her pioneering achievements and discoveries in space physics, including her detection of ocean worlds in the out outer reaches of our solar system. Her leadership of programs and space missions will shape the future of planetary science. Helen Vendler, earned her PhD in English in 1960 and is the Porter University Professor Emerita at Harvard University. We have awarded her the Centennial Medal for her lifelong commitment to drawing out the deep truths of lyric poetry and for the unparalleled excellence of her teaching and criticism, which have helped students, 
scholars and readers understand great poems and the power they have to un enrich our experience of the world. Please join me in congratulating our medalists, whom we celebrate for their contributions to society as they, as they have emerged from one's graduate education at Harvard. All of us at GSAS look forward to celebrating them in person at a future date. I want to thank the Graduate School Alumni Association Council, especially David Staines for his leadership of the Centennial Medals Committee, for their careful review of nominations, and the President and Fellows of Harvard College for their endorsement of our recommendations. I sincerely hope that one day GSAS will honour some of you with this award. Thank you, Dean Dench. The four 2020 Centennial Medalists are truly inspiring. I hope that we are celebrating some of the graduates today as recipients of the Centennial Medal in future years. As we evaluated the elements of the program that were the most important to mark this occasion when it became clear that a normal ceremony would not be possible for 2020, it became evident to all involved that individual recognition of our graduates was the most important thing. Earlier today, President Bacow, Dean Dench and Dean Doyle engaged in an exchange to confer the degrees en masse. Here, we recognize each of our graduates by name for their accomplishments in pursuit of their own contributions to new knowledge. I will announce each program and call each graduate's name. The order in which I will call each program can be viewed on the web at gsas.harvard.edu backslash commencement. For departments that award both a master's and a doctor of philosophy, I will call the master's first in alphabetical order and follow with the doctor of philosophy. I hope you will applaud, cheer, and jump around the living room, bedroom, basement, or wherever you are watching this. Graduates in African and African American Studies for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Kaiti Kimoya Brown, Sarah Jane Lockwood, Kevin Dixon Tervola. Graduates in Anthropology for the degree of Master of Arts, Won Yun Li. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Shuang Frost, Reza Idria, Bronwyn Allison Isaacs. Graduates in Architecture, Landscape Architecture, and Urban Planning. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Justin D. Stern, graduates in Astronomy, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Hannah Zoe Diamond Lowe, Jane Wong, Joshua Shen Spiegel, Victoria Ashley Villar, a graduate in Biological Sciences in Dental Medicine, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Balnaz Morad. Graduates in Biological Sciences in Public Health. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Sergine Brutus. Vanessa Bales. Nathan Hicks. Christine Lee Whirling. Graduates in Population Health Sciences for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Jacob Beckerman Sue. Isabel Feldhaus. Jackie Yon. Susanna Mitro. Kristen Nishimi. Simone Passarelli. Gabriel L. Schwartz. Koichiro Shiba. Tian Xin Ye. Jay In. 
in Nanjung. Graduates in Biophysics for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Benjamin Altimer. Marco Katipovic. Mariela Petkova. Graduates in Biostatistics. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Caitlin Ann Cook. Zoe Guan. Margot Louise Anna Huyuel. Lee Kennedy Schaefer. Alex Ocampo. Emma Thomas. Michelle Zempleni. Graduates in Business Economics for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Eduardo Maria Acabi. Zhang Ding. Ravi Jagadisan. David Chase Martin. Michael Thaler. Graduates in Celtic Languages and Literatures. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Michaela Jocks. Catherine Leach. Graduates in Chemical Biology. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Andrew Drabeck. Lin Lin Fan. Edward Paul Harvey III. Zachary Hausman. Chelsea Elizabeth Powell. Alfredo Mujica Valencia. Graduates in Chemical Physics for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Florian Hase. Micheline Barbara Sabo Sole. Graduates in Chemistry and Chemical Biology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Yunjung Bak. Christina Marie Zhang. Bruce Kuan Yi Hua. Benica Pinch. Weidung Shu. An Shi Zhang. Graduates in the Classics. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Massimo Che. Eliza Gettel. Keating McKeown. James Calvin Taylor. James Lockwood Zinaldine. Graduates in Comparative Literature for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Marina Connolly. William Tamplin. Thomas Patrick Wisniewski. Graduates in Earth and Planetary Sciences for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Cody Florsinger. Jiahu Guo. Eben Blake Hodgin. Jonathan Mock. Kimberly Moore. William M. Steinhardt. Yanping Song. Graduates in Regional Studies East Asia for the degree of Master of Arts. Essie Yo Chen. Chung Chung. Se Jan Che. James Alexander Gethin Evans. Amy Jean Grantham. Quan Wu Han. Ji Huan Li, He Ju Li, Ro Fan Ma, Lev Navar Chao, Xiao Yi Pe, David Song, Casey Oliver Stevens, Jun Chao Tong, Jason Wu. Chloe Yuchen Yang, 
graduates in East Asian Languages and Civilizations, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Ming Tak Ted Wei, Yuk Hyun Kang, Liu Jingyu, Hui Jun Mai, Kyle Shernock, Taro Suda, Graduates in Economics, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Lisa Ann Abraham, Benjamin Austin, Alexander Bell, Christopher Donald Clayton, Paolo Costa, Nir Haak, Taehoon Kim, Alejandro Lago Marcino, Itzhak Chahi Raz, Jonathan Daniel Roth, Eliza Rubo, Priya Vala Shunmugam, Graduates in Education, for the degree of Master of Arts, Alejandro Jose Garcia Fernandez, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Olivia Chi, Andy de Barros, Catherine Gonzalez, Reed Pitney Higginson, Whitney Catherine Kozukowski, Daphne Michelle Penn, Whitney Monet Polk, Joseph Michael Riley, Clint Smith. Graduates in Engineering and Applied Sciences for the degree of Master of Engineering. Meng Dong. Jun Du. Jonathan Guillot Bluin. Aditya Karan. Rong Liu. Pavan Patel. Yue Sun. Manish Reddy Buyura for the degree of Master of Science. Kira Ballard. Emily Bat. Molly Breen. Sean Brown. Matt Byrne. Stan Chang. Tiang Chen. Jeff Chen, Suburish Nikhil Chinta, Eric Unsuk Choi, Michael Emanuel, Angela Feldhaus, Joshua Feldman, Andrew Fu, Yongwei Gao, Emily Gould, Ankrith Harathi, Karina Chensha Wong, Robert John Keck, Jade Kessler, Yu Ting Ko, Li Janan, Wenrei Liao, Brian Lin, Rachel Moon, Shreva Nageshwaran, Shane Ong, Daniel Ju Young Park, Martina Pillay, Lipika Ramaswamy, Dylan Labat Randall, Anthony Wrench, Akash Shah, Nicholas Stern. Robert Struven, Pat Sukum, Andrew Timothy Sullivan, Abimanyu Talwar, Sujay Thakur, 
Valentina Tol Bijagra. Yishen Wan. Yizhu Wang. Henry Wang. Corey Williams. Phoebe Wang. Ziyu Wu. Emily Shi Ye. Yiming Shu. Shu Xu. Jisheng Xu. Chu Chao Wang Yuan. Yunbin Jiang. Sophie Zhao. David Zheng. Quina Zhou. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Piched Atsatamong Pongo. Jehun Bei. Yanina Barrera. Joshua Ben Murgi. Yaroslav Washo. Soren Brandt. Tyler Brown. Pui Ton Choi. Naiwen Tsui. Jen Dai. Eleni Dovru. William Fitzhugh. Aaron Gleberman. Benedict Grover. Bernd Huber. Victoria Wong. Taylor Jones. Keith Krinick. Lisa Lee. Jungwang Lee. Chengye Liu. Jack Murta. Maximilian Novak. Blakely Bussy O'Connor. Raphael Jean-Marie Fernand Pesturi. Noah A. Rubin. Apurva Sarode. Limbo Shao. Nubila Panjim. Nicolaus Vasios. Kyle Vining. Jin Sha. Peter A. York. Alexander Zaitsev. Kathy Jung. Alexander Y. Ju. Graduates in English for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Christian Schlegel. Emily Marie Silk. Emmy Waldman. Elizabeth Porterfield White. Janet Z. York. The graduate in Germanic languages and literatures. For the Doctor of Philosophy, Anne Rohrborn. Graduates in Government. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Jared Abbott. Ala Baronowski. John Samuel Harpam, Jacqueline Kozlowski, Eugene Lee, Boram Lee, Sumiyajit Muzumdar, Michael Olson, David A. Romney, Austin Strange, graduates in health policy, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Kelsey Noel Berry. Julia Dennett. Monica Farid. Annabelle Claire Fowler. Carrie Fry. Catherine Lofgren. Alexandra Citrino McDowell. Bidith Nikhil Munshi, Lina Song, 
Graduates in History for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Safiya Aidid Ella Simmons Antel Alicia Di Maio Megan Duncan Smith Carrie Eileen Garcia Yero Erin Maria Hutchinson Elizabeth Katz Samuel Stearns Klug Peter Pelizzari Graduates in History of Art and Architecture For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Victoria Adona Stephanie M. Bennett Jennifer Isu Chung Fletcher Coleman Mira Ksenia Schwerda, Catherine Taronis, Joanna Wendell, The Graduate in History of Science, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Katie Anna Baca, Graduates in Human Evolutionary Biology, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Heather Dingwall, Munveer Singh Graduates in Mathematics for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Jun Hu Fung Jake Boleslav Marcinek Alexander Smith Hunter Spink Dennis Song Graduates in Medical Sciences for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Himanish Basu, Ellen Monica Beauchamp, Maria Masha Bisitsina Bloom, Craig Borson, Bingxiao Cha, Vivian Saiwei Cho, Rebecca T. Cotman, Rachel Nicole Cotton. Lucian L. Cuenca, Jonathan de Gama, Ilya Druzhenin, Richard Jan Ebright, Fernanda Ferreira, Rebecca Fine, Chamith Fonseca, Daniel Foster, Catherine Amanda Frigi, Renee Catherine Geck, Rebecca Mieko Gibbs, Rajaraman Gopalakrishnan, Grigory Gichuns, Jeffrey Haswell, Jennifer Deborah Helbley, Lisa Nicole Hepler, Ariel Edward Height, Elizabeth Yench, Sanchez Jarrett, Yohei Pong, Angela Kim, Juhi R. Kuchu, Martin Lafleur, Caleb LaRue, Suk Jung Lee, Zikai Liang, Aaron Lin, Yi Jong Lin, Samantha Linder, Po Ting Liu, Yuan Chen Liu, Haley Ellen Manchester, Sulwa Masood, Heidi Morris, Eric Mulhall, Janice Nieves Bonilla, Hoinalka Nitroy, Jennifer Pena, Colin William Platt, Danielle Rasuli, Stefan Raufer, Sasha Raishubsky, 
Tayara Ricci Tam, Catherine Richardson, Edwin Rosado Oliveri, Rachel Rudloff, Ivan Jacinto Santiago, Cici Sarkizova, Abigail Esther Schiff, Mishka Sharp, Ergana Shipkovenska, Kevin Sitek, Brian Song, Philip Tomesco, Tao Trung, Yerne Turncheck, Ben Humans, Er Young, Ariel Wei Shi Ye, Aurora C. Jung, Graduates in Middle Eastern Studies for the degree of Master of Arts. Pedria Alsuba, Sultan Altari, Anna Morgan Klager, Eleanor Ellis, Thomas Roland Harris, Jerry Lee. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Gwendolyn Colasso, Aiken Kurtich. Graduates in Molecular and Cellular Biology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Jamila Akun Zade. James Angstman. Han Yi Bei. Felix Barber. Tom Dial. Julien Franck Roger Grimaud. Emily Rebecca Hager, Vayu Maini Rectal, Javier Alejandro Macis Obando, Chen Minlu, Jun Han Su, Janelle Leanne Wallace, Marie Tungpei Wu, Jiao Wei Yan, Graduates in Music. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Katie Callum, Michael George Kuschel, Diane Oliva, Christopher Swedenbank, graduates in Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Khalil Andani. Laura Taronas, graduates in Organismic and Evolutionary Biology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Sebastian Acle Serrano, Nathaniel Edelman, Holly Elmore, Jacob Taylor Gable, Edine Harney, Brent Hawkins, Mara Laszlo, Eva Mainieri, Benjamin Rice, graduates in philosophy for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Roni Gura Sadowski, David Thorstad, graduates in physics for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Loïc Anderegg, Stephen Carr, Scott Collier, Samuel Dillevu, Cedric Wen Flamant, Kofan Huang, Aaron Noah Cabsonel, Julian Cates Harbeck, Michael Kozowski, Roderick Kwate Defo, Jung Yong Lee, Harold Michael McNamara, Lucas Orona, Akash Ruvi, 
Bruno Schmidt Balthazar, Jing Shi, Julia Allison Steinberg, Graduates in Psychology, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, James Bursley, Alexis Carpenter, Garth Coombs, Paul Howard, Sakira Tiara Jolin Hudson, Sherry Liu, Katerina Magri, Graduates in Public Policy for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Megan Rose Bailey, A. Patrick Bearer, Charles Dorison, Masud Leakut, Heidi Liu, M. R. Shuren, Christine Mulhern, Rebecca Marcusi Sachs, graduates in Regional Studies, Russia, Eastern Europe, and Central Asia, for the degree of Master of Arts, Haley Francis Bader, Nikolaus Graf Fitztum, Dylan Kelly Hebert, Ivana Jana Kuz, Miranda Grace Lupion, Joel Newburn, Daniel Shapiro, Alisa Sopova, Ia Zerode, Brett Weiskup. Graduates in Religion for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Anne-Marie Misikas Bridges, Nuri Friedlander, Mariam Gushadze, Catherine Ann Hartman, Ethan Frank Schwartz, Corey Tucker Price, Peng Yin, Graduates in Romance Languages and Literatures for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Casey Carter, Maria Chokova, Ifigenia Gonis, Ana Paula Kojima Hirano, Denisoya Bidina Martin de la Nuez, Anna White Knuckleby. Graduates in Social Policy for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Kelly Fong, Blythe Caitlin George, Robert Allen Manduka, Jared Nathan Schachner, Alex Soften Winter, the graduate in Sociology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Margot Moynister, graduates in South Asian Studies for the degree of Master of Arts, Daniel D. Turk Rothenberger IV, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Nicholas Roth, graduates in Statistics, for the degree of Master of Arts, Angela Tang, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Chengguang Dai, Zirui Wu, Wong Dongming, Nicole Pashley, Jameson Quinn, graduates in Systems Biology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Mike Jin, Dylan Cotlier, Armin Schoch, James Valcourt, Samuel Wallach, and the graduate in Systems, Synthetic, and Quantitative Biology for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Luis Alonso Hernandez Nunez. This concludes the graduates whom we recognize by name today. 
Dean Dench, will you provide us with some closing remarks, please? Thank you, Garth, and congratulations to all our graduates. I wish that I were able to see you all in person, but this virtual celebration in no way diminishes your incredible accomplishments. Well done. Before we close, I want to take a moment to recognize our MC for today, Garth McAvener. Garth will be retiring next month after 32 years of service to Harvard, not counting the years he spent pursuing his own PhD in Romance Languages and Literatures as a GSAS student. Garth has been an exceptional leader for GSAS, a phenomenal colleague, and a model dean for student affairs across the Ivy League, or anywhere for that matter matter. I know that Garth and his wife Connie are looking forward to spending more time together and when our social distancing efforts are behind us to traveling. Thank you for everything Garth. You will be greatly missed. Thank you to all of you watching from wherever you are. I hope you found ways to connect with those important to you as you mark this significant occasion. Please know that this is not the end of our celebrations for 2020 graduates. Once it is safe and appropriate to do so, we will recognize your achievements in person. In the meantime, stay connected to GSAS and let us know where to reach you. We don't want you to miss the invitation to that celebration. See you then.